I never thought I'd write a film like this. Uh, maybe a little bit of mind therapy. Not like a big uh, psychological thing for me too. That I, I, I like totally fall into the character and just like forget to get out of it. You know, when I go out and all, everyone will be like, "Ah, Tala, full of energy, like so happy. They'll come take pictures with me." வெல்கம் டு ரீலிங் இன் பை சினிமா எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் தலை அஜித் ஓட விசுவாசம் வந்து ரிலீஸ் ஆகி வெற்றிகரமாக எல்லாரையும் கொண்டாடப்பட்டு வருது ஸோ அந்த படத்தில் வந்து அஜித் சார் நயன்தாரா மேடம் தவிர வந்து கவனம் ஈர்த்த ஆல்ரெடி நம்மளோட கவனத்தில் வந்து இருக்கிற ஒரு பொண்ணு ஸோ ஸ்பெஷலான பொண்ணு நம்ம கூட இருக்காங்க வி ஹாவ் பேபி சாரி வி ஹாவ் அனிகா சுரேந்திரன் வித் தஸ் ஐ தட் வாஸ் அ வெரி அன்இன்டென்ஷனல் பட் தட்ஸ் ஹவ் திங்ஸ் ஆர் லைக் ஏன்னா ஒரு வித்தியாசமான ஒரு ஸ்பீயர்ல வந்து இவங்க மாட்டிட்டு இருக்காங்க இந்த கான்வெர்சேஷன் வந்து நம்ம வந்து தமிழ் அண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ்ல சேர்ந்து கொண்டு போகலாம் ஏன்னா அவங்களோட தாய்மொழி மலையாளம் அப்படின்ற காரணத்தினால இங்கிலீஷ்லயும் தமிழ் மாத்தி நம்ம கொண்டு போகலாம் பீங் கால் பேபி அணிக்கா நன் யூ ஆர் நியூ ஃபோர்டீன் ஆஃப் பிப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஸோ டசன் டசன் சவுண்ட் அபிட் வி ஆர் ரைட் நவ் It is a little bit where when you I'm in the stage where I'm, it's like a teenage stage so being called baby anika is like a bit weird but I guess you just adjust with it and you know hope that it you know, moves on. Do you realize that you're actually creating a new pathway for uh, adolescent actors in the uh, southern film industry? <laughs> yeah, like I can't uh, remember a handful of names who have acted uh, at your age or who are currently acting in your age. So that's actually a huge thing. because after the age of 13 or 13 or 14 people just vanish because they don't get enough roles uh, they don't get characters written for them so they just may come back during their college days as heroes or heroines but uh, you're actually carving a new a new pathway for yourself what, like was it like uh, was it because of your hard work or something or did, did it happen naturally i actually don't know maybe a little bit of both Uh, because i work hard you know normally especially when it's in tamil and all because of the language and all i usually work hard but i think it's a lot on luck and you know just god's blessing in this person he said you need your, your character says dialogue that uh, uh, every athlete need uh, needs a motivation to run yeah so being an actor what motivates you to act my motivation would be actually seeing other people act and you know wanting to be like them and you know just having somebody as a role model you know it's just uh, i see a lot of people who act and you know who are such good people and i just like i just look at up i just look up at them and be like oh that would be great you know i actually want to do something like that so it's just you know for example you know ajit sir also i see the way he acts and you know i just be like oh i wish i was like him generally kids find it uh, very tough to balance their tuitions their classes and their uh, day outs with their friends but being a uh, full time i can call you actually full time actor so being a full time actor and also a school student how do you actually manage your daily schedule that's been pretty hard right now uh, till 8th grade it was fine because there was not a lot to study 9th is kind of hard and you know <laughs> juggling between studies and work it's been kind of hard and you know when i'm uh, i'm i usually shoot during normal days in school but when i reach back home will be exams so i'll be like god what do i do because i don't know anything what to write or anything I'll just be like, even uh, I'm going back home, like, we have tomorrow or something, it's exams. Okay. Uh, I actually have no idea what exams are or anything. So, how do you actually cope up with your academics? I don't know. Uh, my friends are really supportive. So, my teachers, they make me study everything, you know. They give me extra lessons and coach me, you know, to study better. And my friends, you know, send notes and all. So, I can write here. I didn't bring any books right now. <laughs> But they, they help a lot. So, it's mainly because of them. Playing athlete in the film. So... How did you actually train yourself? Do you have to undergo a bit of training for the role? I do a lot of training for that. Okay. I'm normally not a very sports type of person. I never run or you know, <laughs> work out or anything like that. Uh, but uh, this was very hard for me. They gave me like 10 days of training with a like a professional uh, Amazing. person who runs around. Uh, so I, I, I was training there for 10, 15 days. And then I went back home and you know, I used to run every day with my uncle, you know. He used to uh, motivate me to run. He used to go every day by 6, 6.30. We'll go running for an hour everywhere okay. and then we'll come back. You're not a sports person in reality. Yeah. Never. Okay. <laughs> Never a sports person. I was normally more arts and dancing. And, uh, that's what I used to be. But sports was very different. It, to, it took a lot of my energy. You know, to actually do a sports role was pretty hard. Talking about that, you actually, since you said you invest a lot of uh, hard work and preparation for your roles, uh most of your like uh, most of your significant roles have been very hard scripts very hard hitting scripts so even as adults proper adults we find it very uh, 
very actually disturbing most of your films like that's the reason one's like man and this and this on the regal so like do, don't you find it very tough to digest the script to being a, a teenager or even before that uh the director tells me what to do he tells me the situation i just do it i actually don't you know like read the script and you know think about it and you know just totally run it through my brain he tells me what to do this and this you have to do i'll just do it like that it's not like a big uh, psychological thing for me to that i i i like totally fall into the character and just like forget to get out of it it's never been a thing like that for me even while doing ma i read the script and i thought it was very sensitive and meaningful and sergeant uncle obviously who trained me to do that way and he was like uh, this is this is the uh, dialogues and this is the situation and i just do it it's not like a bit yeah because like whenever like naanga ma paatha modum seri like andha maari ungala matha scripts paakram modum vandu you know enna endal patha kutti ponnaache eppadi like indha ponnu vaangi ullvaangi nadikkudhu disturb pannada avlo any thought process poi irundhuchu so that was like that was the reason why i asked the question and it should be kind of disturbing actually i don't know why it's not yeah I, actually uh, it's uh, i can say it's a special power of you something not 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 many people can actually uh, take it this easily Thank you then why are you the only choice for the role of shweta uh, i actually i don't know i think they auditioned a lot for the role of shweta okay. shivanka used to tell me we were confused you know if you have to choose somebody who's naturally who can uh, like act or uh, actor who can run mm-hmm. uh, so i was like uh, so i i don't know ajit sir and ayantar ji they actually you know suggested that i should play the role and then shivanka went along with it and that's how i ended up in vishwasu actually no the connection if i if there was somebody else before me Do you think you resemble a bit of Ajit and a bit of Nayantar? Because there is a scene saying that uh, you uh, you resemble actually Ajit's uh, Ajit Sir's uh, lineage in the film. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. I never thought that I resemble Ajit Sir. Maybe a little bit of Nayantar too. Okay. You know, I've heard people say you know just the jawline and everything. A little bit is there. And I don't think Ajit Sir. I look like Ajit Sir. Like resemble a little bit. Yeah. I guess you'll be playing. You'll be getting to play Ajit Sir's daughter many more times in the future also. <laughs> I think it's not the resemblance. I just, I just think we have so much connection, and you know, chemistry that you know, you just like it's just this connection a lot. How do you uh, define your relationship with Ajit sir? He's such a nice person that if you, you actually just go talk to him, he's just amazing. He's so good to like speak to. You can have a good talk with him all the time. He's just so, he's so calm, and you know, he listens to everything you say. He's just so much fun. He'll be like, both he, he's always calm, but he's like so much fun, and you know, you can talk to him anytime. He's a cool person like that. and i'm so lucky to work with him two times uh there are two particular scenes that uh, audience went crazy uh, when you when you were on screen like one, one is actually the final reveal when final uh, final scene where you call him appa and uh, the scenes were scenes the repetitive scenes the, the comic portions where uh, you, you do the harm bit uh. so uh, like uh, uh, did you actually hear for the scene or uh, was it already in the script yeah i have a lot okay. uh, so the ah uh, bit you know uh, shivankar we actually took a lot of takes to get that together okay okay because uh, he used to be like uh, we had like timings and everything after this dialogue you have to say it together uh, it's like the same time now so it took a little bit of effort to you know actually get it together and there's a lot of scenes where we say that yeah uh, and then there's we there's scenes where we say the opposite thing also mm, 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 mm. Uh, so that was easy because it's the opposite thing. <laughs> togetherness it was a little uh, hard but we still got it and then the last scene was just I don't know. No rehearsal at all. One take. We just did something. Like, uh, did you actually anticipate such a reaction from the audience? No. I was actually telling my mother yesterday about it. I've a uh, lot of comments had come that my climax was really good, made a lot of people cry. When I was shooting it, I had no idea. Like, it would be such a big uh, emotional scene. I just did something and went. Actually, I I actually didn't even like uh, just be that emotional about it. I didn't think it would be such an emotional scene. Uh, the last scene when I called him Appa. but you know i think it's mainly because of shivankar you know the way he coached me and directed like to act, act accordingly to the scene working with shivaka he is just a blessing to work with he's so much fun he's he's like so amazing he gives me a lot of advice you know on how i should be in the future and right now and everything and even while he's directing he's such a good actor okay that's actually new i know uh, he's an amazing actor he actually acts out the scene before we do it and he's even so your portion everybody's portion everyone even while crying screaming anything he laughs he just do that and you know he's so amazing uh, even uh, saying everything and you know the dialogue and everything he's helped me so much with it because my tamil is not very great your tamil is actually great 
it's hard <laughs> you guys don't know that i don't speak tamil in interviews okay like at least the version we see on screen is clo- uh, close to perfection mm, that's not me but okay <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so he helped me a lot with that. Even while the getting the lip and all right, uh, the dialogues. He was like so calm. You like I mess up a lot. But during takes, you know, the small lip pronunciations and all will go. So he'll be like, it's fine. We can do it again. It's just amazing like that. What is your favorite portion that you shot for the film? My favorite portion is probably the comical scene with Ajit Sir, which is fun to shoot with him because I've never seen Ajit Sir do a comedy scene. Okay, so it was just new for me to uh, do that, and probably uh, the fight. Have you seen the fight in the yeah, like, yeah. carnival thing? Mm-hmm. That was amazing to shoot because it was such a fun set, and it was night. I love night shoots. It was like uh, six o'clock in the night to uh, six o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. It was just a long uh, thing. It was so much fun to shoot. We had so many rides and all. It was just so amazing. Everybody used to be sleepy. I used to be like, hey, that was <laughs> fun. So you're a uh, you're a night person. I am a night person. <laughs> Talking about that, you were actually part of all the stunt sequences in the second half. <laughs> uh, that's almost all the stunt mm-hmm. sequences. Yeah, yeah the I first half that's the rain, uh, that's the rain fight. Yeah, you're, you're also there, yeah. and uh, in the carnival fight you were there. Yeah. In the climax fight, where he yeah. faces Jagat, but you're also there. Yeah, little bit. Yeah. Then I go away. <laughs> <laughs> At any point, uh, do you see yourself doing your own stunts in the future? Oh, that'd be so amazing. I'm not a big fan of you know the ropes and you know jumping out of the air, but I like guns. Sorry? I like guns. Okay. Like shooting. I think that's really cool. I've seen like movies like Avengers and all. Be like, oh, I want to shoot guns. Like those are fake guns. You know, they won't be an actual bullet, but it just looks like fun. You know. Who's your favorite Avenger? Thor. Thor. Yeah, I think he's cute. I also like his <laughs> pen, hammer. Hammer. You all hear. I thought he would say it's a scarlet witch or something. No. Uh, okay. I also like uh, Iron Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle stardom, Manika? Oh, I handle. Uh, like do, do you get annoyed that people like people keep recognizing you i and upon that like our gasping for selfies never never because i think it's such a big recognition uh, you know when i go out and all everyone will be like ah tala phone and be like so happy they'll come take pictures with me it's just a big it's, it's a big thing itself you know having followers and people who like you and you know want to take pictures with you i think it's amazing how i can you know just make them happy Uh, well, they'll be taking a picture. They'll be like, "Hi, I like your acting so much. I just find it so amazing that I get a chance to meet them. You know how they they share their stories. I think it's amazing." So, what about back in uh, Kerala? Back in Kerala, in my house and all, nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> when I go to like Kochi and all, it's like fun. Everybody takes pictures, and you know, I'm going shopping and everything. They'll be like, "Ah, that girl, you know, from basket dress school and everything." So there, actually, I have more followers here in Chen in Chennai. You know, some. Definitely. Okay. Alala. <laughs> so definitely more here. Uh, even I've only done like two, three movies, uh, but still it's like uh, so much bigger here. A bit of a serious question. Do, uh, do you think the industry is a safe place or a, a, a cozy place for uh, young actors like you? Uh, to be honest, I've never had a bad experience in the film industry. Till now, um, I've never had a like a bad experience, and I don't know if any people have had, but I never found it to be. Like a bad place, I've always found it like such an amazing place. You know, it's always helped me uh, through everything. A lot of actors or a lot of youngsters, young teens like you are actually aspiring to act in cinema, but uh, most of their families are actually skeptical about their safety, uh, skeptical about the scenario and how they'll how it will uh, influence them. So, can you uh, share a piece of your mind to the parents or actors who are actually? Uh, willing to come into the industry. Industry is a great place if you know how to deal with it. Okay, if, if you have, if you're strong and if you're confident and if you know you can act and all, it's, it's with a bit of luck you can actually grow a lot in the industry. It's a very nice place. Uh, there, there can be a bad side to it, but I've never faced anything like that. Uh, but I think it's a good thing to act. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> okay, and uh, what are your dream roles, Anika? Like, do you have bucket list? Like, I have to do this role. I have to act with this actor. Okay, like that will be somebody like I don't know, Ranbir Kapoor or something okay. like that. Okay, that's just too much. <laughs> anyway. Why not? <laughs> no, But you still... haven't done your uh, Hindi film, right? No, no, no. You <laughs> that and all is like it's just something that I never think of. Okay, it's just so big. Hindi movies, no. We no, can no, actually no. see that happen. Let me just be here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> for a while. <laughs> so it will, it will be. Uh, it will be. If you have to make one choice, it will be Ranbir Kapoor. Yeah, Ranbir Kapoor or Ryan Reynolds. I think he's funny. 
you know gone gone to hollywood yeah, i just like, like him a lot <laughs> okay and then <random. laughs> okay what about the dream roles uh my dream roles i, I actually never had like a dream role and all i never thought about uh, this is the role i should do when i see movies and i think it's a good role be like oh i, I wish to do something like that something similar to that or i will like oh wish i did that role i've never you know thought about dream dream role to do exactly like that so if a good role comes along which has a lot of uh, importance to me and you know if it's a good role and good cast and everything it's definitely a good role okay uh, teenage is a very important or uh, and a crucial stage like uh, most of the decisions you make during this particular uh, age influence your entire life so there are actually uh, two tracks to your, to yourself uh, you have your academics and you have your acting side so have you made your choices clear right now uh, academics i actually haven't thought about that okay <laughs> Is I don't know. Mom always says that even getting a job is very important. Uh, education is all always comes first. You know, acting you can't always rely on because it's 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 luck now all the time. You can't say when you get a role. Mom's always like you should you know choose education. You know, build, like actually study enough. So I think I'm gonna study, but also you know do uh, movies and you know I want to become an actress because. it's amazing i think it's always there period. yeah i think always there it's okay. like it's like my of it so what are your current projects okay. uh, so my new projects are i'm doing a web series currently uh, gautam menon is product, uh, producing the web series so he's like, also directing it uh, he is directing gautam sir is also directing i guess we yeah. have had a uh, complete conversation and uh, yeah. really wish the next time i meet you uh, we'll have the conversation in tamil and uh, you'll get to do a lot of uh, tamil films in the future <laughs> sure Thank you. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.